How does the immovable object spell from Explorer's Guide to Wildy Mount work? The description of the immovable object spell Explorer's Guide to Wildy Mount p. 187 says you touch an object that weighs no more than 10 pounds and cause it to become magically fixed in place. You and the creatures you designate when you cast this spell can move the object normally. If the object is fixed in the air, it can hold up to 4,000 pounds of weight. So does this mean that to the caster can move the object at will, and wherever he lets go, the object just sits there in three-dimensional space? Or, can the caster place the object in the air and swing on it or climb using the immovable aspect himself? If so, is it a free action to activate, since no action is listed here? Yes and yes. The cases aren't mutually exclusive. Both the described moving the object by the caster to be fixed in its new position and using the fixed nature of the object are available to the caster. Caster moves the object, it still remains under effect of the spell. Moving the object does not end the effect of the spell. So the effects still apply in that the object is fixed in place for everyone but the caster. The caster and designees move the object at their discretion. The use of can't does not obligate the caster to move the object normally. This interpretation hinges on the term can. In short, the sense of can applicable here indicates ability to do a thing and indicating possibility to do it. The sense here is synonymous with may. Contrast the existing wording with that where can has been removed. It would essentially be you move the object normally, indicating the spell effects do not apply to the caster. The use of can gives the caster the option to use the effects of the spell or move the object normally.